Hello and welcome to another episode of the Contentful Creators webinar series. I'm your host, Marcelo Lewin. My special guest today is Johan Lee, an engineering lead at Collegial. In this episode, Johan will show us how to build a blog article using Contentful and React. But before we jump in, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up icon if you enjoyed this video, and please don't forget to click on that bell icon as well so that you get notified every time I post a new video. So now let's go learn. Welcome to the webinar, Creating a Blog Article Using Contentful and React, presented by Johan Lee. And I'm going to ask Johan to actually pronounce it the way it should be pronounced. You'll see that it's not as easy for an American to pronounce it the way he does it. So, and I love his pronunciation. So we'll get him to pronounce it and host it by yours truly. I'm Marcelo Lewin. For this webinar, not a lot of knowledge is required, but it is helpful if you know Contentful and React, but it's definitely not required. I am Marcelo Lewin, and there is my contact information. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, marcelo at the marcelolewin.com. I'm a content creator. I create things that live on the internet, and I'm also a senior content solutions architect for a company called Service Titan. We implement a lot of contentful projects there along with other projects, and I'm in charge of the technical and content architecture and implementations of those. Johan Lee is your presenter today. You will find out more about him in just a minute as we invite him over to have a chat with him. But there is his contact information. If you need to get a hold of him or have questions, feel free to email him. Now, before we get started, we do have a meetup. Of course, when are we going to meet in person? Who knows? Hopefully, COVID-19 will be over soon. But Whenever that's over, we will meet in person again. However, having said that, please do register at meetup.com slash contentful because that's where I usually tend to send out communications about upcoming webinars, podcast episodes, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So even though we can't meet in person yet, or even though you may not be able to meet when we do meet in person because you're far away, still register because you can receive very infrequent communications from me. Also, I have a YouTube channel. Feel free to go to youtube.com slash C slash The Marcelo Lewin. And the reason you want to go visit there and subscribe is because that's where I share all of the on-demand webinars. So you will find many more from the past. And whenever this one goes on demand, it'll appear in that channel. So make sure you visit that channel, subscribe and hit that little bell. So that way you'll be notified when the next on-demand webinar is up there. Also, I have a podcast, so if you want to learn not just about Contentful, even though it's called Contentful Creators, it's about Contentful in all related technologies. For example, Johan was actually on my podcast talking about React, so definitely go check it out, anchor.fm forward slash Contentful Creators or iTunes Contentful Creators as well. We're on iTunes and we're on a whole bunch of other places. And if you forgot all of those URLs I just gave you, don't worry. Just go to contentfulcreators.com. Just remember that. And you'll have links to everything I just mentioned, contentfulcreators.com. All right. Now, I'd love to invite Johan. Let's find out a little bit more about him. All right. So it's just like free, free form. I can just ask her whatever. It is. Fun. It is. Yeah, we'll just, yeah. uh, you know what, Joe, let's start with this, Johan. Let's start with your, you pronounce it exactly how you would pronounce it. You um. That's why I tried it multiple times and I just couldn't do it. My apologies. And I love how you pronounce it. So, okay. So you're in Sweden. Tell us a little bit about your background. I mean, you do react obviously, but tell us you're working at Collegial and how you got to where you are today. I'm currently an engineering lead, but of course you don't really start your career as a lead developer. I worked in a lot of industries before as a developer. So I started in e-commerce and I've worked in the video game industry as well. Some very tough years there. You know, the video game industry is known for being quite tough. What did you do there? So I worked a lot on the back end for our games. This company I worked for was a publisher, a major publisher. So being a publisher, setting up account systems and all that is really important. And also setting up a back end to be able to gather telemetry, you know, gather data about how players are playing your games. All that sort of thing is, is very important. And also handling all the e-commerce surrounding uh, the sales of games and all the accounting, you know, all the, the balance sheets and all that. So uh, that was what I did. 
What was the technology stack back then? Do you remember? Yeah, so it was actually a very mixed technology stack. So of course you have JavaScript there because that's really the core of any company these days. And anything that involves the web, it's always JavaScript. Then we also had things like Scala and GoLang for particularly the backend parts. And Amazon Web Services was very core to everything that we built as well. Because on weekends, the traffic levels are much much different than on weekdays. You know, when everyone is at their workplace and and when they're in school, having scalable infrastructure is really important. So, how did you become good at writing scalable code? A lot of it is just about learning from having mentors, I think, and people who are much, much better than you at these sort of things. So finding someone who is very experienced in a company and trying to learn from them, trying to gather all their knowledge, surrounding yourself with very senior people, I think, is the answer there. Now you're at Collegial now. So what do you do there, and what does Collegial do? So what I'm currently working with is with educational technology. 